So Maggie's darling son, Kyle Rittenhouse, came here to Tennessee to the University of Memphis to speak, and the event ended abruptly with Kyle running off the stage. But now, depending on which media outlets you read, there's different headlines for it. Fox News says protesters disrupted Kyle Rittenhouse. But I want you to watch this clip for yourself. When he's confronted with Charlie Kirk's racism and asked to say, is this or is this not hate speech, you be the judge of what happened next. Roll the clip. He says we shouldn't celebrate Juneteenth. We shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. It's called Katani Brown Jackson and Affirmative Action Hire. He's talked nonsense about George Floyd. And he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh. Then answer, no, no, no. Does that seem racist? Is a yes or no question, Kyle? Deflection! 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 Yeah! Fuck yeah! Yeah! So yeah, he got confronted with the racism of Charlie Kirk, and rather than bite the hand that feeds him, he just ran like a scalded dog. And there was a dog there with him. My condolences goes out to that dog. I don't think any dog should ever have to be around Kyle Rittenhouse. But Kyle says the media is making this out to be something that it wasn't. It was a great event. They just had a hard cutoff time. Check out this ridiculous clip. And I think it's funny uh, that a lot of the media is saying we got booed off stage. In reality, we uh, did a hard cutoff time and... Just happened to leave at that. Great event. Classic MAGA stunt. Oh, the media is making this into something it's not. But folks, I'm going to go back and we're going to watch that clip one more time. The tail ending of it. Let's just watch the tail ending one more time and tell me where the hard cutoff was. Action! So yeah, there was no hard cutoff. The only hard cutoff was is they realized this kid was a lost ball in high weeds that was backed into a corner and couldn't answer a question, and they cut it off real quick. It wasn't like he said, oh, sorry, folks, I ain't got time for any more questions, or I'll take one more question, and then I got to go. There was none of that. He was just completely trapped. He was completely clueless, and they rushed in and rushed him off the stage before he made a bigger fool of himself. He was an inexperienced kid who had no business being at a protest, and they dropped him off with an assault rifle. Now he's an inexperienced kid who has no business with a microphone, but they're going to give him one and crank it up to 11. And they got people out there that are dumb enough to buy tickets to see this kid speak like he's somebody and like he's got some sort of valid point. The fact that they would give this kid a microphone tells you everything you need to know about MAGA. They always go to people like Kyle Rittenhouse, the January 6th insurrectionist. Those are the type of people that they want to say are the victims. They want to say are being unfairly mistreated, and they want to give them a microphone, and they want people to sit and listen to them like they have any experience at anything, and it's an insult to any of us who ever had a brain in our head. Kyle Rittenhouse will forever be a pawn in their game. That's all he can do now because no one else is gonna take him seriously anywhere he goes in this world. All he can do now is go out there and stand there and try to talk. But somewhere right now, I guarantee you, there's a team around him going, hey Kyle, the next time you get in a situation like that, here's you some talking points, here's what you have to say. And he will always be a pawn in their game. He will always be controlled by them. And they've got people gullible enough and stupid enough to sit and listen to him. But when he goes out there and tries to speak to these college kids, there's going to be people stand up and ask the tough questions. There's going to be people stand up and call him out for his bullshit. And if you'll notice, anytime MAGA gets called out on their bullshit, they run like hell. And then they blame the media. The media's being mean to us. Everyone's being mean to us. They're always the victim. No, they've got ancient ideas. They've got bullshit ideas that has no place in the year 2024. And they go out there and they try to spew that garbage onto people and project it onto people. And yes, there's people dumb enough to buy it. Yes, there's people dumb enough to fly a flag off their boat. But there's also reasonable people who are sick and damn tired of it and is going to always call them out on their bullshit. 
And we're going to keep calling them out on their bullshit until they finally fade away. Folks, I understand that MAGA is loud and I understand they're obnoxious. But I really believe, I'm hopefully believing that they're on the decline. I think their popularity peaked a long time ago. And I think they're kind of riding the wave downward. And one of these days, what I want MAGA to be is like that vanilla ice cassette that you won't admit you ever owned. You know, which actually, I'll give anybody a pass for that vanilla ice tape next to Donald Trump. But still, you get my drift, okay? What we want to happen is, yes, this blew up. Yes, this was popular for a while. But we have to keep calling it out like that young man did to Kyle Rittenhouse. Keep calling out that bullshit. Keep making them run like scalded dogs until finally we look back one day and we study this time in history and we say, how in the world did we ever get to that point? Let's make sure we never get to that point again where people can buy into such bullshit and where people can be so gullible that they can fall for con artists. That's what we have to do. We have to stay focused here and just hope how soon this MAGA nightmare finally comes to an end. I know it's been a pain, and it's, trust me, I've had people say to me, I had a comment not too long ago on a video where someone said, well, once they're gone, once MAGA's gone, you ain't gonna have nothing to talk about. Listen, there'll always be plenty to talk about in this world because there's always gonna be crazy shit happening. But I cannot wait for the day that I look back and go, you know, I ain't mentioned Donald Trump or Kyle Rittenhouse now in a long time. I ain't said their names in forever. Folks, the day that comes, I'm going to celebrate. And, I, and I'm going to be happy that it's here. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in this chair talking about morons like Kyle Rittenhouse and morons like Donald Trump. I want to see the day that they fade away. I want to see the day that they're no longer relevant. And I hope it comes sooner than later.